Good morning. It is a beautiful day here. It is Sunday morning. We are getting ready to head off to church and we have a special day today for us because my son and daughter-in-law and my two youngest grandchildren are going to be meeting us at the church that Rick has given his message at. And then we're all coming here and we're gonna get something to eat, spend the, the afternoon together. So anyways, that's always a good thing, spending time with family. And I will talk to you folks after a while. And I hope everybody else has a glorious Lord's Day also. There's my grandboys, look at them. Oh, I love you. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. hi. Well, I didn't have a chance to get it all done, but I did get in this white container here. I got that group of flowers transplanted into that and you can see the hangers sitting next to it. But I broke my other hanger, so I have to get a hanger for that one. And I got my new rosemary planted there. That was the rosemary that I kept from last year that was in the house all this time. And that's my parsley. And that there is a lavender. And then over there is a tomato. And yeah, I ran out of dirt to put the other tomato in. So yeah, got to get more dirt. And like I said, you can see, I still have more pots. I still have more um, more to, to plant that sage. And then, let's see, I'll show you over here. I still have that little plant to put in. Still have weeding to do, still have mulch to put down. But hey, it's getting there. And oh, I put the other lavender in that pot there because if we're moving, I wanna take this stuff with me. That's why I did that. But aren't these beautiful? I just love that color of purple. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous flower. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, and as you can see, my, um, might be pumpkin plant is still there. I had two different responses on whether or not that is pumpkin, so I'm still not sure. But honestly, I'm beginning to think it is because that is the exact, the exact spot that I put that little pumpkin. And that little pumpkin, it wasn't a normal like orange pumpkin. It was longer, it was more yellow in color, and it was only about eight inches high. So, I'm thinking that it was some abstract type of pumpkin because it came from a pumpkin farm and they sell all different kinds of pumpkins. Anyways, I'll talk to you in a little while. My daughter-in-law brought with her today some plant seeds, well, planted seeds is what I should say, of summer squash and cucumber so that I can have a couple things in my garden. Then, she brought me a patio tomato plant. Look at that container. Isn't it beautiful? I wanted to show you this bleeding heart plant because this just is near and dear to my heart. And I don't think I showed you this before, but the reason that this is in this, this little um, wash bin is because I bought a plant for myself and I bought a plant for my son's gravesite. I planted mine in this bucket. I planted his at his headstone and this little bleeding heart has been with me all that time and I actually picked this up from our old house and brought it here and when we move it will go with me again, but it's it's just a precious little plant to me. 
because I have part of it here and the other part with my little boy's graveside. Hello again everyone. I did not get a chance to vlog. Actually, it's not exactly true. I just didn't think about it. I was having so much fun with my grandkids and my daughter-in-law and son that I just didn't even think about picking up the camera. But we had a wonderful day of just food and fellowship and just, just enjoying each other's company. And today I wanted to read from Mark chapter 9 verse 24 and it starts out by saying the father instantly cried out I do believe but help me overcome my unbelief I think we can all identify with that one. Oh Lord help me overcome my unbelief you know at one time people believed the earth was flat they believed that the sun revolved around the earth and that mermaids were dynamic creatures who seduced sailors in order to steal their souls but somehow over the years myths have been debunked and science has helped us to understand our solar system just a little better. However, that doesn't mean that we have all the answers to every mystery of life. When it comes to God, faith and doubt often go hand in hand. That's because it's hard to gather concrete evidence about something that we cannot see and we cannot touch. Just like we don't have to totally understand how gravity works to believe that it's real, the same can be true of God. So don't allow doubts or unanswered questions to construct a myth about God and what he's like. Rest in God's millennia-long track record of loving faithfulness by reading the accounts of people just like you and I as recorded in the Bible. And consider starting a journal of how you have seen God working in your life and in the work in working in the life of your family and friends. Then reread your own faith journal whenever doubts start to arrive. But let me tell you, if you're not someone that likes to write in a journal, then I encourage you to start a blessing jar. And every time something good or fun or special, an answer to a prayer or a visit from a friend, maybe a card or a note that was given to you, write it down on a little piece of plate paper and place it in your blessing jar. Then when you have a difficult day or maybe just need an extra little pick-me-up, open up your jar and read some of those blessings. I have a blessing jar. My son gave it to me. And it just is a little cork with the blessings that go in there. He gave me this for my birthday last year. It says, be happy not because everything is good, but because you can see the good in everything. And that truly will help you to be able to remember your blessings. And when you're feeling sad, open it up, pull a few out and read them. And you'll remember how good our God is. And I wanted to read something to you that Corey Ten Boom wrote. She said, when a train goes through a tunnel and it gets dark, you don't throw away the ticket and jump off. You still sit and trust the engineer. So with that, I want to remind you, life happens. Let's enjoy it. And when things start to go wrong or when things become difficult, 
or when things maybe are happening that you don't understand. Just rest in the faithful arms of our Heavenly Father and remember all the blessings that you've received in the past. Because we have a good God and what he's done before, he will do again. So, God bless and I will talk to you tomorrow.